Let's learn how to blur a part of a video in the CapCut editing app. So welcome back to another simple tutorial everyone. If you want to blur a part of a video in CapCut, whether that's someone's face, license plates, some personal information or anything else in a video, then watch this video until the end to learn how to do just that. It's really easy to blur some part of a video, so just follow my steps. We will use the CapCut application for this, and the process is the same for both iOS and Android. Now let's open our CapCut application and then import the video which you want to edit. I've got this cool car video and I want to blur the license plates on this. The very first step that we have to do is to tap on the effects option right here. After that tap on video effects. And we want to go to the lens section and find the blur effect. If you can't find the blur effect or the lens section, then go to other sections in the video effects until you can find the blur effect. We need to basic blur so we will click on this effect right here. And this will blur our whole video which is just what we need. The blur is added to our timeline, and we want to drag the blur over the whole video, or the section of the video where we want to blur a specific part. Now go back, and we have to add the same video one more time. Tap on this overlay button right here. And then add overlay. CapCut will open our photo gallery so what you want to do is to select the same video one more time. And it will be a little smaller than our frame size, so zoom in the video just a little bit in order for it to fit the frame. Now we can continue with the next steps. Make sure that our second video is selected, and then you need to scroll down here until you can see the mask option and tap on it. A little menu will pop up with a bunch of mask shapes which you can choose from. The ones that are best for blurring a part of a video are a circle mask and this rectangle mask. This will get the job done perfectly. I'll blur my license plates so I will select the rectangle shape. As you can see, we've created the mask, but we have to click on this little invert button which is in the bottom left corner of our screen. Now you can drag the two arrows if you want to adjust the size and shape of your mask. And when you do, we will blur a part of the video. But, we are not finished yet. We have to add keyframes to our mask in order for it to move. As you can see, my car and camera moves throughout the frame, but the mask stands still. We will need the keyframes now. Make sure you are at the beginning of your video, and then tap on this little keyframe button right here. Then move the video a couple of frames. We have to move the mask, so all we have to do is to make sure our second video is selected, find the mask button and click on it. Then move your mask as much as you need to. Click on the done button and that's it. Just repeat this step and add as many keyframes as you need to on your video. I'm gonna speed up this process a little bit because it's boring. So select the part of the video, then the mask button, move your mask and click on done. And that's essentially how you can blur a part of a video using CapCut. If this video helped you out, then leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.